Devrayi Hayamim Shanai, Second Chronicles 9. And when the queen of Sheba heard of the fame of Shalomah, she came to prove Shalomah with hard questions at Yerushalayim with a very great company and camels that bore spices and gold in abundance and precious stones. And when she was come to El Shalomah, she communed with him of all that was in her heart. And Shalomah told her all her questions, and there was nothing hid from Shalomah, which he told her not. And when the queen of Sheba had seen the wisdom of Shalomah, and the house that he had built, and the meat of his table, and the sitting of his servants, and the attendance of his ministers, and their apparel, his cupbearers also, and their apparel, and his ascent by which he went up into the house of Yahuwah, there was no more Ruach in her. And she said to the king, It was a true report which I heard in my own land of your acts and of your wisdom. Howbeit, I believed not their words until I came, and my eyes had seen it. And behold, the one half of the greatness of your wisdom was not told me, for you exceed the fame that I heard. Happy are your men, and happy are these your servants, which stand continually before you and hear your wisdom. Blessed be Yahuwah Eloheka, which delighted in you to set you on his throne, and to be king for Yahuwah Eloheka, because your Elohim loved Yasharel to establish them forever. Therefore made he you king over them to do judgment and justice. And she gave the king a hundred and twenty talents of gold and of spices great abundance and precious stones. Neither was there any such spice as the queen of Sheba gave King Shalomah. And the servants also of Kuram and the servants of Shalomah, which brought gold from Ophir, brought algum trees and precious stones. And the king made of the algum trees terraces to the house of Yahuwah and to the king's palace and harps and psalteries for singers. And there were none such seen before in the land of Yehuda. And King Shalomah gave to the queen of Sheba all her desire, whatsoever she asked, beside that which she had brought unto the king. So she turned and went away to her own land, she and her servants. Now the weight of gold that came to Shalomah in one year was six hundred and three score and six talents of gold, beside that which chapmen and merchants brought. And all the kings of Arab and governors of the country brought gold and silver to Shalomah. And King Shalomah made two hundred targets of beaten gold. Six hundred shekels of beaten gold went to one target. And three hundred shields made he of beaten gold. Three hundred shekels of gold went to one shield, and the king put them in the house of the forest of Lebanon. Moreover, the king made a great throne of ivory and overlaid it with pure gold. And there were six steps to the throne with a footstool of gold, which were fastened to the throne and stays on each side of the sitting place and two lions standing by the stays. And 12 lions stood there on the one side and on the other upon the six steps. There was not the like made in any kingdom. And all the drinking vessels of the king Shalomah were of gold. And all the vessels of the house of the forest of Lebanon were of pure gold. None were of silver. It was not anything accounted of in the days of Shalomah. For the king's ships went to Tarshish with the servants of Kuram. Every three years once came the ships of Tarshish, bringing gold and silver, ivory and apes and peacocks. And King Shalomah passed all the kings of the earth in riches and wisdom. And all the kings of the earth sought the presence of Shalomah to hear his wisdom that Elohim had put in his heart. And they brought every man his present, vessels of silver and vessels of gold and raiment harness and spices, horses and mules a rate year by year. And Shalomah had 4,000 stalls for horses and chariots and 12,000 horsemen, whom he bestowed in the chariot cities and with the king at Yerushalayim. 
and he reigned over all the kings from the river, even unto the land of the Pelishtim, and to the border of Mitzrayim. And the king made silver in Yerushalayim as stones, and cedar trees made he as the sycamore trees that are in the low plains in abundance. And they brought unto Shalomah horses out of Mitzrayim and out of all lands. Now the rest of the acts of Shalomah, first and last, are they not written in the Sefer of Nathan the prophet, and in the prophecy of Akiyahu the Shaloni, and in the visions of Edo the seer against Yeravan the son of Nebat? And Shalomah reigned in Yerushalayim over all Yasharel forty years, and Shalomah slept with his fathers, and he was buried in the city of David his father, and Rechavam his son reigned in his stead.